On May 13th, 1783, there was a sea battle in Torbay and a mass fight here on Paynton Beach. On one side of the battle were two revenue cutters, the Spider and the Alarm. On the other side was a smuggler's vessel, the Swift, with a crew of 50. And they fought a skirmish just off, the, just off the coast here. Supporting the smugglers was Thomas Perkinson of Brixham in his own sloop. Uh, and both of those smuggler ships were uh, delivering a, a huge consignment of illicit goods. The Swift en route to Paynton was spotted off Brixham by the revenue men. Uh, revenue man Captain Swaffin attempted to seize the smaller smuggler ship, was captured and held prisoner. They then followed an exchange of fire between the Swift and the Alarm. However, the revenue ships were supported by the cannon from the garrison at Berry Head and the smugglers eventually retired. On shore, a hundred local men were waiting for their consignment of four tonnes of tea and 9,000 gallons of spirits. During unloading, fighting on the beach ensued with John Stanton, a Coggington smuggler, attempting to kill a revenue man called Thomas Petheridge, who was knocked down by a rock and judged likely to lose an eye. Two others of Captain Swaffin's crew escaped, one by hiding under a boat, another by swimming away. Smuggling is about making money and about saving money. A single cargo was worth around £10,000 which is about £1.8 million in today's money. So actually bringing these kind of cargo, whether it's tea or brandy or even playing cards, uh, into Torbay to be sent out to the rest of the country was vastly profitable. Initially, they were, the um, smugglers would actually come into the, into the main town to the bay and be quite open about it, quite blatant about it. And we've actually sort of uh, spoken about uh, how sort of large companies of, of armed men would be circulating and there would be no interference. However, in about um, 1800, the revenue men became more sophisticated, better armed with better ships. And so the smugglers found it much more profitable and much easier to get away with what they were doing by coming to sort of smaller coves such as where we are today. And this wasn't just a sort of smaller criminal, small criminal enterprise. Uh, the majority of some communities were actually involved in smuggling. So fathers, mothers, brothers and sisters, would, children would all be involved in bringing the cargoes in and then sending it out through the country. The men would bring, uh, bring the cargoes and the smuggled goods would then be sold by women and children and disseminated. So everybody was involved in this. Um, and although that sounds very much like a you know, pleasant cottage industry, and in, in one ways it was, it was, also, uh, it was also a world of intimidation, fear, uh, of what smugglers could do if you actually sort of uh, broke the rules and informed the authorities. And the penalties for being caught as a smuggler were to be hanged.